Hello everyone, my name is Jason. I'm the product manager for the Australian Tourism Data Warehouse. And what I'll be showing you today is the photo uh, cropping tool. Uh, but I'll also touch on um, how, how to handle and how to update your existing uh, images or your existing photos. So I'll jump straight into that now. Uh, what we see on the screen is uh, four photos attached to this particular listing. Um, and these photos were uh, created and uploaded on a prior, prior version of our platform, um, one that you will have been familiar with over the, the years. Uh, what we've done as part of this particular uh, change on our, on our product is, I guess, increase the minimum standards of our, of our photos. Uh, so where we had quite a, a, low, um, a low resolution requirement um, in the past, we've now increased that, not to a significant number, but um, just to a higher number. Um, and what I'm highlighting on the screen at the moment is that number there. So what that means is on the left hand side that we see over here, uh, where we have please replace this image, it just means that these images don't yet meet um, the minimum standards that we've set in the new platform. Doesn't mean that these images uh, are unavailable. Um, they are entirely still accessible to uh, distributors and publication or publishers of, uh, of your listing. But what we're looking for and what we're striving for is an improvement in the quality of these images by way of an increase in their size, as we can see here. Okay, so what this means is um, just by clicking on it, uh, what that does is load the image, um, gives you a view of that. Uh, really the only option at this stage um, to uh, replace this image is the delete one. If you don't want to delete it, that's fine. You can cancel it and it's retained against your listing. Okay, but what, what is required when you edit your uh, image or listing rather, um, is at least one uh, photo uh, that meets these minimum standards. Okay, so this demonstration or this tutorial will give you the, the attempts and techniques to actually complete that exercise. Okay, so I'm just clicking back on the photo again, I'm going to delete that. Um, and now what we have left with is three images, uh, three that are still below our minimum requirement. Uh, but what we'll do is upload a new image. Um, I, I prepared an image earlier. This one's quite a significant one. Um, you can see I'm clicking on two little buttons down below here, square and landscape. That's not an image, um, I guess, orientation. That's just a cropping tool. So this is really how we can uh, set cropping tools and focal points on, on images um, in two different formats, the square and the landscape. Okay. So I've got the landscape cropping tool open at the moment. Um, and these aren't, these aren't required, it'll just default to what you see here in both cases, a square version, um, which I'd suggest is probably better placed over there. You can also resize the crop, okay? So if you wanted to really get in and, and show the detail of the, the cab of this vehicle or whatever the, the focal point of the image uh, might be, you're, you're welcome to do that. Over on the landscape cropping tool, very similar actions. Um, you can see that the size is more of a rectangular shape, of course, rather than square. Okay, so we'll move that up there as well. That's it. That's all you're required to do. Of course, there's other data in here around captions and copyright and the photographer and, and alt text is important. Um, if images for whatever reason aren't displayed or aren't accessible, alt text is one of those things that um, every website likes to display in the absence of those images. But for now, we can just focus on the image and the cropping tool. We just save that. And away it goes. There we are. Okay, so you can see now that we have an image. Um, one of those four in the in this listing is compliant. There's still three there. They're attached to the listing. They're fine. Um, if you want to come back at a later stage and update those, by all means, do that. Um, but what the image does need is one of these uh, one compliant image down here. Okay, so what we can do now is just hit the reset button and that fundamentally sends it for review and away you go. All right, thank you for watching and listening. I hope that helps in uh, your understanding of, of the, the photo tool that we've built. There's lots of other great features in the platform that we hope you enjoy and appreciate as well. Um, of course, if there's any questions or comments, uh, please contact your uh, state tourism organisation. Thank you very much.